China did not announce its youth unemployment rate for the second straight month after that figure hit a record high in June. Oh, this decision to halt the data release has been met with backlash online, as some see it as reflecting economic slowdown. CNA's Henry Yin explains. China's jobless rate for 16 to 24-year-olds hit 21.3 percent in June. That's nearly four times the national rate. And Beijing officials suspended the publication of the July number, coinciding with the graduation season, with an estimated 11.58 million people possibly flooding the job market. The officials say the methodology of that calculation needs refinement, although social media users accuse them of trying to bury bad news. But the problem remains very much in the spotlight. So why has China's youth unemployment rate remained persistently high over the past few years? For one, the country's faltering economic recovery has forced many firms to implement hiring freezes and reduce headcount to save costs, so there is insufficient demand for workers. In addition, many economists blame a skills mismatch in the labor market. China's reopening appears to have benefited the services sector more than others. There just aren't as many jobs for more educated applicants. Basically, the wants and needs of young workers and companies aren't in sync. Amid all these economic challenges, some fresh graduates are embracing the so-called tangping or lying flat movement instead of actively searching for jobs. The government is gravely concerned about the current situation because more unemployed young people will amount to a financial burden on parents and society. Perhaps even more concerning for leaders in Beijing is the notion that more jobless youths could cause social instability or even threaten China's political security. Authorities are scrambling to try to stop youth unemployment from spiraling out of control. They've asked state-owned firms to hire at least as many graduates this year as they did last year. They've also rolled out subsidies for employers to encourage hiring. Amid all these uncertainties, some are putting their fate in the hands of the guards. Media reports say the predominant visitors to China's temples these days are young people. For CNA Explains, I'm Henry Yin.